All right, guys. So we are back with New World content leaks. And they actually asked me, New World Base asked me to cover these leaks that they actually put out on their website. So these are just a few leaks. I can't say, uh, you know, who actually brought them to the forefront. But greetings, adventures. These are the leaks. What data miners uh, actually all found, by the way, were new expeditions, new PvP content, new regions, new weapons. Horse is not 100%, but they have some coding on that, and then new armor sets as well. We're probably not going to take a look at too many of the armor sets because there's a ton that we'd have to click through and jump through, but there are quite a bit of them. So if you guys want to check it out, I would definitely leave a link down in the description for this article here. Six new expeditions, though, to jump through. Unholy Depths is location Great Cleave. Frozen Passage, which is Great Cleave as well. The bosses being the heavy and Corrupted Ogre. They have different uh, kind of information for each dungeon, more on some than others. We also have Burnicles and Black Power, uh, or Black Powder, and that's going to be in Cutlass Keys. Dissonant, Dissonant, and Siren Queen is going to be the boss, it looks like. Um, they have Uranus Coverns, which is going to be uh, and I don't know, by the way, if these are spelled correctly, if they're, you know, perfectly checked over, but this is what I'm going to go with. They have Location Restless Shore. They have Isabella's Lair, which is going to be Shattered Mountain, level 65, the Tempest Tamer. We've actually talked about that dungeon before. We've actually showed you where that's going to be as well, if you guys have watched previous videos. And then the Innade, or the Need. Um, this is going to be Brimstone Sands, the Magister M Militum? I would say the Magister Militum and the bosses are going to be the Lotus Scarab and the Krasis. And these are going to be in Brimstone Sands, which is, by the way, a new zone that we're going to talk about here in a second as well. They do have three new weapons coming out. You guys have already heard about these weapons. I'll jump into the Void Gauntlet uh, actual skills probably in a different video, but they do have a lot on the Void Gauntlet skills, a ranged weapon that actually does have some healing as well as damage uh, you know, perks and skills. So very, very cool weapon here. Uh, if you want to pause the video, you can also just pause the video as I'll slowly be going through it. Uh, but there's more weapons to cover, and that's going to be the Blunderbuss and Dagger. So dual daggers is something that we really have been looking forward to. I'm really, really hoping for some healing reduction kind of items in the dual dagger at the very least to make it valuable in wars and maybe some other things as well. But Blunderbuss, ideal for keeping targets at a distance and long range combat with a high payoff for precise aim. They have the Claw Shot, Net Shot, Vortex Shot, Splitting Grenade, Azoth, Sharpnel Blast, and the Mortar Shot. Daggers, they have the dual-wielded one-handed weapons, close range melee, and short range throwing combat. Sounds very, very fun. A lot of these weapons I do expect to be a little bit before we see them come out. And a lot of this content in general, I'm, I'm assuming, will take uh, you know just a few more months at the very least. We have new PvP content coming, going to be PvE arena, or sorry, PvP arenas. We already knew about this, but there is it possible to fight against other players and collect points. And then they have dungeon mutation, which is not really PvP content in my opinion, but they said it is intended for endgame and should be really the strongest players, which is dungeon mutation, basically add mutators to the dungeon and make it a little bit harder. Uh, they have new regions announced. You know, we talked about these regions before, but these are going to be regions in Brimstone Sands. Um, so they actually say you can test it yourself. Go to the border in Great Cleave and cross it a little bit before you die. And notice will come Brimstone Sands or Brimstone Sands. I think I said that wrong, but uh, various stories. So they talk about some of the different stories. I'm not going to cover every single one. They talk about some of the zones. This is kind of interesting, though. The Oasis, Dead Zone, Barren Waste, Searing Sands, Scorched Battlefield, Windswept Highlands, Shattered Foothills, Jagged Ridge, Ancients Rise, and they have new mining resources, by the way, which is really, really cool. They're coming out with different sands, so coarse sand, fine sand, uh, silty sand, and then charged sand as well. So a lot of different options there when it comes to new mining resources, which is definitely going to help miners level 200 to get uh, you know get involved with some more and new mining resources. They also have horses, so code find. They have uh, the E item class, food for horse, equipable saddle, equipable bridle. So we'll see if that actually comes out or if there's actually anything there, but that's just a code that was found in the, uh, you know, in the deep dive that they did. So the three new weapons, you know, Void Gauntlet was one of the big ones, the ranged weapon that has a lot of details compared to every other weapon. So this is the one that everyone is speculating comes out first. And we kind of did a massive leaks video a while back that kind of talked about most of this stuff, but some of this stuff is new and we got a little bit more details on some of it as well. The Void Gauntlet skills we did already know about. We've talked about those previously, so I won't jump too far into those guys. But if you guys want to jump in a little bit farther, I will have a link down below for the website so you guys can take a look. Definitely a very, very cool uh, and it looks like Tetra Meme maybe did the actual post. So thank you for Tetra Meme doing the 
the blog post here, but a very, very great amount of stuff to actually look through and look forward to when it comes to New World. Obviously, we are in a rough spot with New World right now, having a lot of different glitches, a lot of different problems in the game, but a lot of excitement coming up. So definitely stay tuned as we continue to give you guys the New World content here on the channel. I know I've been slacking a little bit recently, got a lot of stuff going with work. So continuing to try to give you content along the way is definitely going to be something that I will have to start prioritizing. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on if you guys didn't know as well we do stream on twitch twitch.tv slash iGraphic i follow me there we will be doing a lot more streams when arenas come out some of these new weapons some of the new zones i just don't want to give you guys too much boring content right now it seems like a lot of it is that pve stuff that uh you know i want to be doing mostly pvp maybe i'll start streaming wars some of that some you know some of that fun stuff but thank you guys again for tuning in i'll see you all in the next one